Hey, what is going on guys? And today we're taking a look at the Premium Bandai Master Grade Dwaj. So this is obviously a different version of the Dom. And if you've ever seen my old review, I did a review a little while back of the original Master Grade Dom and I gave it a pretty good review. Despite it being a kind of an old Master Grade, I think it still holds up very well. That said, this is definitely not just a color swap as you can see even before we get to the new weapons that it has it does have a lot of different parts here for the main armor for the body but it has a lot of parts underneath the hood as well that are new so it's kind of like a version 1.5 of the dom in terms of it just being changing some of the inner frame parts as well so it's pretty awesome and i really hope we see some more different variants or just Bandai putting out just like a 1.5 version of Master Grade Dom based on the new parts that are changed for this kit. That'd be pretty awesome. But as always guys, big thank you to SA Gundam Store for making the review possible. Check the link to their site down below. They do have some PA Bandai stuff there on their site as well. You can get that stuff or anything else on their site 10% off with using that coupon code there, Zacharelius10. It's all down there in the video description, so check out their site for more. Now let's get in and let me show you some of the new cool accessories that this kit has. Alright, so first thing is we get this nice sheet of water slide decals, nothing really too big or major on there, a couple of Xeon logos, and basically just a whole bunch of caution markings for the most part, but still, water slide decals, always a welcome inclusion. We do have a little standing pilot figure here, which is just a generic pilot figure, the same as what was included with the original Dom. Alright, so here we have the Heat Tomahawk, and very similar to the Zaku's Heat Hawk, but obviously just double-ended, and then it has this part which looks like this is meant to be like clipped on or like mounted onto something but as far as I know and as far as I can tell just from the manual it doesn't actually clip onto anywhere on the mobile suit but it does have the little peg that pops out there in the hand that will plug into the hands here the hands are different from the hands of the original Dom these would be the same kind of style hands like with the Sazabi uh, Verka or the Shinanju Stein where it's using the uh, fully articulated manipulators with the little peg in the hand that will fold out like that that plugs into its weapons so we've got that style handle here for the heat tomahawk very cool now we've got the heat rod here with the rod molded in this very bright yellow color it looks really nice this one also has the peg and the handle for plugging that into the hand and it also has this attachment piece for plugging this onto the backpack as well plug that right on there and this opens up just open like that and you can pop this into there close that back up for holding this on its back and then we have the giant bazooka which is mostly the same as the one that is included like with the 2.0 zaku kits that do include the giant bazooka but obviously has this new part here for this kind of cloth covering on the body and it also has this new part here for the front that always falls off this is quite loose in there so just put a little bit of glue on there to help that stay in place otherwise it falls off very easily out of there but otherwise yeah it's pretty cool very nice and we do have a bunch of leftover parts in this kit nothing really too noteworthy except for the fact that you have the full original dom bazooka in here which is pretty awesome so i'm definitely gonna keep this and plan on using this for some custom build in the future. All right, so as I said before, the articulation for this is now nicely improved now that it's got some new parts for its frame. So let's just talk about some of the articulation of this guy. Now the head, it will move up to there and then you can just put that down into its normal position. You can also move that mono eye, of course. So you just remove the red part there on the front and you can move that side to side and you can also move it up like that. Let's just kind of put it off to the side for now just so you guys can get an idea of that but looks really nice that clear pink part in there for that these antennas on the top can be rotated if you didn't want them standing like out to the side one of those a little bit out to the back like so you could rotate that and it's kind of hard to get to i've got to use my knife to pry it open but the cockpit hatch there does open up we have a seated pilot figure up inside there in the cockpit there as well other nice clear parts for this include this clear part here on the front for that circle part and also on the back of the head this is a new part for the top of the head i should mention and it also includes this clear part the camera there on the top and this camera here on the backpack as well so it's all new this whole like main part of the top of the body all really super nicely detailed with the vents there and then the vents on the back also looking really really cool as well of course on the back skirt we'll get back to that for the torso articulation it can rotate a little bit side to side and then back a little bit to there basically but it's being blocked as the fuel tank on the back is hitting into the back skirt but it could in theory i think go more without that then stomach crunch forward to there so still pretty good forward and back movement despite that fuel tank there on the back 
side to side you've got a little bit of a rock there as well so definitely not too bad at all the shoulders unfortunately are the original pieces so those still have the seam line down the side that's too bad we didn't get some new shoulder armor for this but the shoulder articulation is improved with this i found it's kind of hard to get this part to pull out of here though it feels like this was molded just not quite right that it's very tight but this whole part of the shoulder will bend out Let's see if i can get it out kind of have to pull that out with my finger just to pull that out like that but so that is a new parts for this kit that will allow you to bring the shoulder farther forward like that with this new part but yeah it's just kind of it's very sticky very tight in there i'm not sure if anyone else who got the kit experienced this but it just feels like that they just messed up the measurements on the mold just a tiny bit that it just doesn't quite fit in there quite right but anyway, no added movement upwards for the shoulder, so you're still only going to be able to bring the arm only up to about 90 degrees, like so. The arm is then just going to rotate there at the top. You've got a nice bend here in the elbow that will give you more than 90 degrees, but not too much more. And then the wrist is just on a ball joint. And then you do have a hinge there as well, because as I said, it's just the... Uh, like the nice 2.0 manipulators that it has for that. Going down to the skirt armor, then the front skirts will move up and down a little bit. The side skirts don't really move at all, and the back skirt doesn't really move too much at all. It kind of has articulation in theory, but it's just kind of blocked by these parts here. And just the way they all fit together, it doesn't really have that. Up underneath there, you've got some thruster bells, which mine are a little bit out of line. There you go, but those are all individually articulated as well. So if you did want to have those in some certain position, you can do that. And we also have a new hip joint for this as well, which uh, is on a track now. So the hip joint will slide forward a little bit like so. And you've got some rotation there at the top. Ultimately, you can only get the legs out to the side only to about there, which is really not all that much. But you're a little bit limited in the uh, articulation of the ankles as well. So you can't really get a super wide stance out of those. We'll come back to that. You can bring the leg forward up to about there but then it's going to be kind of started to being weighed down just because of the weight of the leg but nice double joint here in the knee to give you a nice full bend there with separation of the knee armor like that and yeah for the ankles you can kind of pull that apart to kind of get about as wide of a stance as like that so it's really not all that bad but you're not going to get like a super duper wide stance out of this still pretty good i'd say that is also new parts in there for the ankle for this so that's nice so you get the feet forward to there and then pointed down to about there, which is not nothing crazy, but still, again, it's pretty nice. Up underneath the feet, again, some more thruster bells up inside there. There's the detail of the underside of the foot and then on the back of the leg like this. So the inner part of the leg is actually not new. So the outer part is new and that accommodates for the uh, fuel tank there. I guess that's a fuel tank or whatever that is there on the back of the foot. Unfortunately, still no action base adapter for this, although it is supposed to be like a desert type, it's not really meant to be flying around anywhere. If you did want to have this up on action base, you're going to have to use the uh, pronged action base adapter. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the original Dom, and while they may not look all that different on the surface, obviously aside from the different color and the different parts, all the new parts for the new version definitely make it vastly superior. That said, like I said before, I still think that the original Master Grade Dom does still hold up if you were interested in getting a Master Grade Dom, and maybe you don't want to go for the Dodge version, you just want to go for the original Purple Dom, I would, stay, I would still say buy with confidence that it's still a solid kit. So all in all, this is just another really awesome kit. And it's once again, a, one of those where it's just a real shame that it's a P-Bandai kit because it has quite a lot of new parts in there. And a lot of the parts just really improve quite a bit on the base kit as well. So it's a really, really nice solid kit, especially for any fans of the design or just fans of, you know, Xeon style master grade kits or desert theme kits. Obviously with this being a desert theme, I think this is gonna look really cool once it's all painted up and you've got some weathering on there and especially some like filtering and some pigments on there to give it that sandy look like it's been out in the desert. It's gonna look pretty awesome. The new and altered weapons that it has are also really cool. One thing, unfortunately, is that just the original Master Grade Dom had, I feel like, more in terms of weapons and accessories. It had quite a lot of stuff included with the box where this does have a good amount. It has the heat saber, the heat tomahawk, the bazooka and then it also has like just as an extra part it has the original Don bazooka in there as well but it would have been cool if Ben I just would have just given us like all of the weapons and accessories that were included with the original Dom although of course not really needed for this particular design it just would have been cool to have them in there as extra parts that you could use for some other future kit bash or custom build in the future 
But that is pretty much it for this kit, guys. It's very nice. If you're a fan of the design, definitely check it out. It's worth tracking down and adding to your collection. Well, I don't see any more coming out as just standard releases anytime in the near future, but what other versions or variations of the Dom could you guys imagine coming out as more future P-Bandai kits? What would you like to see coming out as other future P-Bandai kits, like a prototype Dom or something like that? I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, put those down in the comment section below. Just interested, as always, just to hear your guys' thoughts on what you might like to see coming down the line. This was honestly a bit of a surprise, but a very welcome one at that. I was really stoked to pick this up because I love pretty much anything MSV, and this is just a really cool take, a little really cool version on the DOM. So again, a big thank you to SA Gundam Store. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you do have any other further questions, of course, you can feel free to leave those down below in the comment section as well. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.